everyone welcome back to my channel sorry i haven't been posting i've just been sick and not feeling good and just dealing with a million things plus thanksgiving and the holiday but i am back now so i wanted to do a medical storage tour since a lot of people seem to like it and show you guys like my new ikea dresser and everything that i did so this is my setup right now for all of my medical supplies if you remember what it looks like before i had like a little rolly cart here and now i have a nine drawer alex dresser that fits pretty much all of my stuff and then i have a bedside table and i put extra infusions and extra supplies in there um and then i have an alexa here my lamp my ipad a drink and then a mirror so i can do my makeup in and then this mirror is from Target. And then if you remember, we did my room. This is what it looks like. Let's just start off like on everything. I have like some pictures of me and Charlie and then like our Christmas tree and chow chow. And then I have my camera with my little scrapbook. I believe this is like face, yeah, like hydrating a pen, um, a picture of me and my husband when we got married and then my fairy lights and the first drawer here i have a lot so if you remember i used to have a pick line so i have from karen wear and another brand in here i have needle syringes and then saline syringes alcohol swabs and I need tons these are new and then old so i go through them evenly and then these are port caps. I can't remember the name they're actually called, but this is what they look like on your line. Mine are dirty and they need to be changed. So I have extras of those and then two different types of caps for the end of my line. I prefer these ones, honestly. I feel like they are better than the green ones, but that's just me. And then tape because you never need tape, enough tape, but I'm actually allergic to this tape, so... Thanks, Marcel. So I don't use that. And then in this drawer, I have more saline flushes, chloral prep, and I'm allergic to chloral prep, but I always keep that in there in case. A blood pressure cuff and tons of extra heparin flushes. My line does not require heparin, require, but because um, it has a valve. But I'm getting my line replaced soon. Um, so if you want to see that, let me know. But that's why I, and I also still use heparin every day, just to be safe. And then this is like all of my medications. So generally I take about, I would say like 15 pills a day, if not a little bit more. Let me see where it's at. So I take Midodrine and I take it three times, three tablets, three times a day. So that alone is a lot plus like all my other subscription my prescriptions so there's this one that i take three times a day and then all these other ones i take daily too and then i get sore throats often so you know all of that fun stuff and you also because mass cell activation i have allergy medication sorry i'm like brain fog right now and then ibuprofen a multivitamin another blood pressure cuff uh, this is like a cooling cream to help with pain. Uh, there's another cooling cream. I have sleep meds, icy hot, a fidget cube because I guess why not. More Benadryl, um, more Benadryl, uh, steroid cream for act like my mast cell. This is basically like pain management medications and mask cell like all medications and then i have like some girly stuff in here like face masks and eye stuff easy just to get right next to my bed and then this drawer is my dressing change drawer i'm gonna film this right now <laughs> and i'm like having such a bad pots episode i'm like out of breath and i'm like dizzy and i'm trying to make it through this video so if it's a little splotchy i'm sorry it's uh <laughs> i hate pots but i don't use sorb review anymore um i this was actually caused my pick line reaction um I, so i don't use this but i have it in case and then i right now i'm using iv 3000 which i love iv 3000 it's kind of flimsy and they're hard to put on this is what they look like um but they work great for me and then i think 
yeah, and then I have Take It Arm right here for like when I shower. My extra Apple Watch bands, um, stuff if I need help to get off my dressing, and then I'll just sterilize these. And then I have um, these alcohol swabs that are good to use for dressing change. They, they look like big Q-tips, um, and they are sterile. And then back in here, I have um, like pads to keep my dressing dry when I take a shower. And then I think, yeah, these are um, film barriers. So in case like I think I might have a reaction from using something new, I can use a skin protectant and the skin protectant will help uh, protect my skin worst comes to worse and it is a it is sterile pretty much everything in here is sterile i don't i think everything else back here is yeah that's all it goes um and then bio patches i love me some good bio patches and then this is a glucose um to make sure that i don't have a clinic shock in case if i ever need it um but i have not needed it i normally use the ones that go up your nose um i'm currently out and waiting to go pick mine up from the pharmacy but this is the one i currently have on hand and i keep it in here so it's nice and easy access i need to get like a label maker for these so like if anyone ever needs to get into them like they'll just know what is what the store is kind of just like empty um, there's like some chopsticks, nail clippers, COVID tests, um, my self-care case, and some hair bands. And then these are all my giving sets that I use for my infusions. And I just use one lot at a time that they give me. And then refill um, after the whole drawer is cleaned out so everything can get used accordingly. And then these are all of my saline bags. They are a thousand mils each, and I do two to three of these a day, mainly two. If I really need the third one, then I will do them. I have tons, and then there's more giving sets down in there. And then these two are for like clothes and stuff like that. Um, keep my canes over here and I have my journal of like I keep track of pretty much like they're all organized um of like what I do what I not do what medications I'm on anything important and then pretty much these are just like for my films for my camera uh, my friend got me a bunch of these for Christmas early and then these are my trash bags for my little trash can some extra trash, my glasses, some nail polish, um, nothing too fancy in here, an extra apple charger, some scissors. Pretty much concludes everything that I have in here. Um, I think my favorite drawer out of all of them is probably this one. I like this drawer the most. I think it's the most organized. And I'm in this drawer pretty much every single day. And along with like the dressing change drawer, I'm in here a lot um, because you know, I have to get like my Tegaderm out for when I shower. I was using shower shields, but I don't really like shower shields. It kind of sucks. But if you guys have any thoughts or questions, definitely let me know. Um, I'm also getting a new Hickman line, I believe probably either sometime this week or next week. Um, I'm hoping, hoping I'm going to get a Breviat catheter. Um, there's some talk of potential chance of me being put on TPN. Um, and I'm a little stressed out about that, but we will see. Um, I don't have a feeding tube. I've never had a feeding tube. So I'm a little nervous, like why we're trying to jump so quickly to TPN. But I mean, I trust my doctors and if they're suggesting it, then why not give it a try but if you guys have any questions about anything else definitely let me know and if you definitely want to see the new hickman video let me know too because i can kind of walk you through the process i wasn't doing youtube very much when i got my first hickman done and i feel like it's a process that should be documented i don't i haven't seen a lot of people that document it it's just like hey i'm going to get my line and then wake up um, from it. It's not like how they prep you or anything like that. Like going back, I did do like a TikTok about it 
but um like once you go in the procedure room obviously like you can't um record anymore but it was a pretty painful procedure i mean i was in a pain for about at least two weeks it it was kind of getting a hickman is much bigger deal than getting a pick line that is for sure 100 percent oh look there's my kitty no one believes that I have cats. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.